You wouldn't love me if I were a worm? <laughs> I said <have> no. <laughs> what, are you, what is that? That is a dumb question. More. Lunch break. <laughs> This episode of Lunch Break is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to start building a beautiful online presence today. We're back! Whoa! The first recording of you guys as a married couple. Ooh, oh yes. yes! We are officially Yay! married. Last time, last time we had this same setup of uh, the, the two pairs, we were both engaged. Mm -hmm. yes. Now... We've leveled up. <laughs> 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 so we'll tell you kids, you know, <laughs> but uh, yes. What to expect. Yeah. You yeah. We are welcome today by my wife, Jessica. Oh, Hi. And we're here also with my still fiance, <laughs> Helen. And we're also joined by our plus one, our care holder plus one, Gracie. And Ooh. she requested Hawaiian food today. Yeah. Yummy. Hawaiian food. Good choice. Also got you some Bopa Mofo just to, oh, yeah. you know, sweeten the deal a little bit. So what's happening today, Benson? All right. So we are doing a continuation of the, I guess, the couples game that we played last time. Okay. Right? Uh, so you reached out to our care holders on Patreon and got some more questions. And we have Jessica Lynn uh, behind the camera as our game master this time. Woo, 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 Real Jessica. quick, just for reference so we know what, what we're starting at. Yeah. Who won the first one? Again? We did. Are you sure? Mm. Not us. <laughs> Wait, are you sure? Mm -hmm. I, yes. rem I remember there being I like a half love point. One. Mm, love one. <laughs> There was a half point. There was a half point discrepancy, but seven, no. seven points? Uh-huh. Jessica and Benson. Seven and a half points. Oh! Are you serious? Wait, no, oh! go back, go back to the tape. What was that half point? All right, so question. Are we are we continuing that? Like are we at a half point deficit right now? Or is this just round two? I would say round two. Okay. And it's like it's like Mortal Kombat, so it's best two out of three. Okay, good. Yeah. So if you guys win, then we have to do a round three. And if, and if you win, you can finish us. Yes. Oh no, that sounds We'll terrible. come back once you guys are married. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. okay. We're like a different couple. person then. Yes. yes. Today we have these um, dry erase boards. We're gonna write our answers um, based on the questions and we're gonna see if we match with each other. So the first question will be for the, the guys. What is your partner's love language? They're gonna write the actual answer and we have to get it right, right? I can see your board. Yes, let's do that. We just had an argument about this last <laughs> week. <laughs> it was a conversation, okay? All right, three, two, one. Oops. I put, I put words of affirmation. Oh, oh, oh. Words of affirmation. Oh, affirmation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. QT with my, hey, look, I did the QT thing too. Whoa. Aww. And I, gave, right. I drew a little emoji kiss. Right. I thought oh, these were, I thought these were yeah, gonna be harder questions. <laughs> we're starting off. Yeah, if we it'd be it'd be bad if we got the first one wrong. <laughs> let let us get some let us get some false confidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great job, by the way. That was really affirmative. I'm so enjoying this time that we're having together right now. <laughs> I'm loving this. Girls are answering for the guy. Oh. What is your man's favorite meal of the day? Meal of like a breakfast, mm. lunch, dinner. Yes. So technically, you have like. One third, like, you know, one in three chance of getting this right. Actually, I don't even know. There's also brunch, you know. Oh, there's also brunch. There's also the afternoon snack. Hmm, I don't know if we talk about this enough. Three, two, one. What'd you put? What'd you put? I put brunch. Oh, dang it. I thought about that, but... Um, Dinner? But we, don't, can... we, don't do, we don't do brunch enough, so I didn't think it was... But, you know, like favorite. the brunch buffets? But I guess... You can't have brunch buffets anymore. It's a, a very specific brunch buffet. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like breakfast buffets are amazing. Yeah, that's what he loves. Okay. What'd you put? I put... I don't have... A, I was gonna <laughs> say that, but the only time we actually do eat together is dinner. I know, I put... Yeah, I that's the same for us. Schedule. That's what I was thinking too. Literally, three choices. Yeah. Why does he have the stray? <laughs> Why does he have to stray? <laughs> so for me, my answer is whenever I get to eat is my favorite time. Mm. You were gonna write oh, this. I, you were gonna write. I, I was thinking that, and then I was like, okay, dinner is the only time we actually do cook together. Oh, so. and then yeah, and then that, that's our quality oh. time. Yeah, apparently it's not that right. important to you. All right, so <laughs> hey, it's okay. Good. We both they, they didn't score either. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because I was gonna say we're already showing some signs of cracking over here. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, mm -hmm. who is your partner's celebrity hall pass? Celebrity hall. <sighs> <laughs> Wait, what's a, what's a hall pass? Oh, 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 oh please. Jessica, what kind of question is this? All right. I'm answering for her. Like who she wants Celebrity. the hall pass, right? Yeah. Um, 
You know. Oh man. You know. Wow, this is she's very adamant about this. You guys have had conversations about this. Yeah, you guys okay. go first. All right, ready? All right. Three, Three, two, <laughs> one. Woo! Michael B. Jordan. Oh wow. Woo! If you're watching, so you're on the same page. You're my hall pass. <laughs> hey man, leave us alone. <laughs> <laughs> We're happy. Hey, you know what? Why Michael B. Jordan? Why not Michael A. Jordan? That's a that's a meme. That's a meme. <laughs> no, that's the, the the disapproving Asian dad meme. All right, what's your answer? Okay, uh, this is just based off the most recent movie, no! movie we watched, so I think it's gonna be wrong. But I put Thor. Oh, Leo, oh, yes, yes. Yes. Chris, Chris Hemsworth. Yes, actually, Leo. Ooh, girl. Leo okay, now? Guess, Wait, Leo now or Leo like you know? Leo type? all the time. Really? Oh. <laughs> Leo in the morning, Leo in the <laughs> evening, Leo at supper time. <laughs> at supper time, at dinner time. Wait, even now though, he's like, he's like, I guess he's still pretty cool. He's, I mean, yeah. dad bods are in. Dad bods. From what I don't I've know. Heard. It's just like his the like, charisma, his acting, everything. I'm just like. Oh. His money, his island. His <laughs> island, you know. the way he walks. Yeah. Yeah. So this is from a Patreon member, Tony Nicole, and she asked, when your SO is mad, what is the best way to cheer them up? This is a question for the ladies. When your SO is mad, how do you cheer them up? What is the best way that to cheer them up? So when you're mad, what's the best way to cheer you up? Oh, this, sh okay, I think this should be pretty straightforward. Yeah. Oh no. You have a paragraph going on over there, boy. <laughs> he turns it this way so he has more room. <laughs> Dear Helen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if I were to get like upset or frustrated, usually the first thing or one of the things I do is clean slash organize. Clean. Oh. oh, wait. Yeah, wait, I thought it was what we do. No, it's what I up. do too. Oh, yeah. Oh, so yeah, you yeah. would clean yeah, a chair yeah, yeah, in the yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh. That's how he me does it. That. And then yeah. because I'm messy, sometimes I feel like when he's mad, like even if it's something random, I feel like, Oh, is it me? Is it because I'm not cleaning? <laughs> so then I like rush into like cleaning so he can't yeah, say anything. Yeah. That's it. Wait, that's interesting. So like you, if you're mad, you, you would rather see her just do something and then you'll actually calm down and like and forgive her or something or? Is it because Well, no. Well, like, no you, you'll I, see the I, act of service or something? Because like I'm always like in my head about things, right? So like when I'm, when I'm frustrated or something, like I'm trying to figure out like what is causing that feeling and by by like cleaning and organizing, I'm just like kind of burning oh, calories too. But, but what? Too. But what? But that's but that's if you're just generally frustrated. Yeah. What, if, what if you're mad at her? Same thing. Oh, interesting. <laughs> she so that, is yeah. also like an acts of service. Okay. So mm -hmm. like yeah. doing something like especially that kind of stuff, just cleaning, loading the dishwasher, yeah. it takes it away from him, so he feels better. Yeah. So because okay. like, like, like he's ar upset, arguing, that'll be what I'll do. Yeah, arguing doesn't help us, but like. Cleaning helps both of us, oh. I guess. Productive. Yeah. That was a very productive. Uh, okay. <laughs> this is our answer. Real like fight, we just. <laughs> um, three. I don't know what you're going to write. Three, okay. two, one. <laughs> Slice apples cooking. I said, just say sorry. <laughs> just say sorry. And I was wrong. You are right. And being reasonable, I was not. I, want, I won't do it again. That's what you want her to yeah, say? Yeah, it's very oh, simple. Oh, it's oh. so simple. Isn't this <laughs> what I usually do to cheer you up? That's not what I usually do. <laughs> oh, you're, oh, I see. I, oh, I guess you. I see what you're again. saying. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I, I wish would happen. Me. I know. I know. I wish it. I wish the same. Okay. Look at them. They're just letting us fight while they're like sharing food and everything. <laughs> <laughs> just say sorry. It's very simple. A lot of times. I'm a simple just, man. Just say sorry. Philip says that all the time. I'm a simple man. I don't man. know if pride is a big issue in your guys' relationship, but pride is a very big issue in ours. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Good talk. <laughs> 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 We're proud of each other. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, what is your partner's favorite photo of you? Wait, so I have to describe My the photo? My favorite photo of Philip? Or do we pull it up on our phone? You can pull it up on your phone. <laughs> God. I do know one that you have talked about before. Is it like appropriate? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can spicy. find it. I have to scroll back. Ah, you look so young the further we go back. <laughs> <laughs> that tends to happen. Okay, right. this will be pretty crazy if you get this, actually. Because right. you take a lot of photos. Oh, Much girl. more than the average person. <laughs> girl. Girl. All right, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, is it the same Oh, wow, they Oh my it. god, it is! <laughs> 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 Interesting. Wow. This, is, this is 
back in 2015. Wow. The, the knee. I don't know what, like, no, you made a joke about it, what, that you really like this picture, and then, what? Uh, you what? remember that? Yeah, because it was so, ra- it was so random. It's such a random picture. So this is a photo of Philip. On, on tour, we're on, on a, tour in Australia. Here. I know, there's something like very swaggy about this <laughs> photo. <laughs> also why. I would Michael, never put- Michael, Michael B. Jordan, like, hello, that's <laughs> <laughs> This is this and Michael B. Jordan is the same <laughs> level. What are you talking about? Well, what if Michael B. Jordan sat that way? Yeah. Oh, girl. <laughs> End of the world. End of the world. Three, two, one. Oh! Oh! Wait. oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is a good photo. That is going back and forth because yeah. it's not actually Benson. It's my favorite photo of Benson on his oh. Instagram, but it's not for Benson. Oh my gosh! It's Wait, how, how long ago was that? 2017. 2017. Okay. Wow. I just I love the <laughs> caption. Everything. My firstborn and heir to the throne. Emochi just looks like yeah, the biggest she, little. Yeah. She dirt. looks like she's like melting. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> like ice cream. <laughs> that is an objectively good photo of Benson too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. He does Where, look. Whereas good mine is too. not. Mine just. <laughs> <laughs> it's the so pose. Really? I suppose. It's the attitude. Yeah, yeah. So who won? I think you guys did. Yes. By one point. Whoa! Whoa, only by one? So we're tied. Now we're tied. So that means we definitely have yeah. to come back for We're going for the trilogy. Another. Round three, round three. Let's take a quick break from lunch break to thank our sponsor, Squarespace. As you all know, here at Wong Fu, we make videos. The video blocks feature allows us to highlight and showcase our videos exactly how we want. The templates Squarespace offers are beautiful and elegant and work seamlessly with any device. To learn more about the other features offered, head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready, make sure to use our code WONGFU at checkout to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain name. Links can also be found in the description below. Now let's get back to lunch break. So now we're gonna go to the uh, care holder questions from Patreon. This is more of like an advice section. People reached out and asked us some questions as couples. And I guess, you know, we have some experience there. Lisa S asks, what are some relationship myths and misconceptions you wanna debunk? What is, what is considered a, a relationship myth? I, think I mean, the isn't like a common myth, like um, long distance doesn't work out mm. type of thing, which I feel like we both, mm. like you guys have dealt with long distance when you were working, mm-hmm. what was it, for like three months or something? Yeah, I was in Spain and on India. But I, I mean, yeah. I don't know, I feel, like, I feel like long distance doesn't work out. I mean, it all depends on the people in the state. Mm-hmm. And oh, you know, the ultimate myth, do you guys think soulmates are a real thing? Oh. We had a long discussion about mm-hmm. this. I think it depends on right time, right place. Mm-hmm. Mm. So anyone could be your soulmate, but it's whoever is in your life at the right moment. Oh. With both of you in the same mindset, same wavelength, mm-hmm. and that, that person becomes your soulmate. I think you're my soulmate. I feel like, I feel like, I feel <laughs> like you're really- like, Not really. <laughs> he's, not, he's not even moving. Uh, no, no, I, think that I, I think if you make it to the end of your life and you've been with the same person for this whole time and you've been happy and working through it and learned a lot, I would say that that was your soulmate. I think the, the feeling of like, oh, there's someone out there is maybe for people who are unsatisfied in their relationship. And that person that they think is their soulmate, there's a high chance that if they were actually with that person and they became reality, you would face similar problems. Mm-hmm. You would face di- different problems. Mm-hmm. But people have this um, fantasy mm-hmm. of soulmates, mm-hmm. of, the, of that things can be better with someone else. And then it's they, they put their energy into searching for that or longing after that rather than trying to make their relationship work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's, it, to me, it's, it's a little bit of a fantasy mm-hmm. yeah. um, when, it's, when you're thinking outwardly, but it, you, you can try to make someone in your life that you're yeah. soulmate? I mean, it depends on how you also see the word soulmate because yeah. that sounds like a very heavy term. And there's, there's something I recently learned called a twin flame, which is when, <laughs> when one soul splits and then you find each other, like that's your twin flame. That's like oh. the level above a soulmate, mm-hmm. apparently. I don't know. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. But I think for like for Philip and I, we don't see each other as perfect people. Mm -hmm. But I think as long as you're both intentionally trying to work hard at your relationship, Mm -hmm. then that person can become someone who is perfect enough or as perfect as it can be for you. I'd rather have a teammate than a soulmate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that. So it's a Michael Michael Jordan, not B. Jordan, D. Michael (laughs) Jordan. (laughs) And like uh, Scotty Scotty Pippen. <laughs> Scotty Pippen. Wait, sorry. Did, do you guys believe in soulmates? We had, we had a lengthy conversation about it actually recently. I feel like I kind of take kind of like a like a Buddhist approach to it because like 
if if reincarnation were to be a thing, right, mm. and soulmates were to be a thing, mm. it would be very difficult for the souls to like link up, right? So like in in a lifetime, like I could be like a like a a, a boar, and she could be like a tree, yeah. mm. in, in in the rules of like reincarnation. So like if somehow everything aligned and we had met in this lifetime yeah. as soulmates, it's like this is like a one in infinity chance of yeah. happening. So mm -hmm. like. It's like taking the approach to make it work just in case it is true. Mm. Mm, I like that. That's nice. Yeah. But you know how we actually started that conversation? It was from like a TikTok where everybody was oh, yeah. asking, would you love me if I was still a worm? If I was a worm? Yeah. So I asked him, would you love me if I was a worm? And he was like, in the next life you might be. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and if, you know, we're worms together, then... Yeah, I mean, I feel like the answer for me to that is, like, no, I, I wouldn't. If you're a worm, I'm a human. Like, you're a worm. <laughs> how is that possible? Like, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> it's just... You wouldn't love me if I were a worm? I don't know. <laughs> what, are you, what is that? That is a dumb question. There's so many of those. There was like one where it's like, would you love me if I didn't exist? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that's a related that's related to also like do you think that there's only one person in this world for you? Mm -hmm. And I, I I would say actually that whatever path you go on, whether it's you're talking about career, relationship, whatever, that is the path that you are supposed to be I on. Believe that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All the wanting and like you know wishful thinking, like mm -hmm. it's it's all it's all fiction, right? So whatever is happening, that is actually what was supposed to happen. So you are the only person mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. my life. Mm. If I met someone else or if we whatever, then that person in that would then become that. But like while I'm here, I don't think that there's, it's good to think about, oh, I think there's someone else that yeah. is better. I mean, I do also think that there's like, sometimes you just don't have control of certain things that happen to you. And mm -hmm. so yeah, where you are right now is where exactly where you're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Who you're with right now is mm -hmm. who you're supposed to be. So For yes. better or for worse. I mean, I feel like I can yeah. love a worm. <laughs> What would it do for you? Yeah, it's, a really it's, it's temporary. It's temporary. That worm would live like a few days at best. I also, I also have a question what your definition of love is. <laughs> so, you know, if reincarnation were a thing, I'll just wait for the next thing you, yeah, you yeah. turn into. Like, you know, probably That's turn fine. into like a little flower or something. That's cute. You know, I'll love the flower a little bit differently than I would love a worm. Benson, do you think that then for like, for example, a, I don't know, a plant that you have? Yeah. Or do you like love it in a way more than an average person would? Like the possessions uh, that you own? Not necessarily, but like I, I feel like this plant could have been like it has its own story before it was a plant. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. So that plant could have been a worm or a tree or, <laughs> ben, or Jessica. Ben, that's or Jessica, yeah. <laughs> Maybe this isn't the real Jessica. Would you? Would you? Would you love me if I was a worm? I think if I knew it was you. <laughs> <laughs> like if you just suddenly turned into a worm. What if the worm was like? <laughs> yeah, the worm. <laughs> If if I knew it was you, if like you if you turn into a worm right now because of a curse, then yes, I would love you. I would protect you. I would take care yeah, of you. Yeah, yeah. But if you were just if I never met you, how would I even communicate with you to fall in love with you? What, what if what if I kept showing she's, up in your she's life? She's riding in like I would slime. be annoyed. Who wants worms in their lives? <laughs> you see a worm walking around with like lashes. <laughs> all right, all right. Drink and boba. Yeah. All right, last question from Paula. How do you know you're ready to move in together? Mm. Mm. Hmm. I think for us, like at that point, we had been dating six years already. Mm -hmm. So it kind of felt like the next step for mm -hmm. us and everything. Um, because I think, you know, at a certain point you realize like, okay, we're either going to like break up or get married mm -hmm. type of thing. So I've it's like, when's the next, <laughs> when's the next, um, you know, step and everything mm -hmm. like that. For us, because we were also doing long distance, it wasn't that much of a distance, mm -hmm. but it was still San Diego to LA. Mm -hmm. It just felt like I was missing out on so much, he was missing out on so much and everything. And the longing just became more and more. Mm -hmm. So we just wanted to be together. For us too, like it, it all kind of like came together. Mm -hmm. Like, right, I was able to like leave my job like in a good way and everything like that, move up and figure out what I wanted to do mm -hmm. up here as a career and everything. So it was mm -hmm. like good timing for us. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah. So we decided. Yeah. You know, it was the next step for Did us. Did you guys talk about it for a while before mm -hmm. moving? We probably talked about it for for a good couple of years. Oh, okay. Like you were anxious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say anxious. Like we wanted, <laughs> we wanted to like go in with the right mindset too, because like we've seen examples of like mm. you know it happening to our friends, and then mm. uh, maybe it's too soon, or mm -hmm. you know it doesn't work out. So like you know we we try to talk about that a ahead of time. And mm -hmm. I think being realistic too, you understand that like once you move in together, you're gonna see each other all the time, and like. 
being realistic about that, realizing you're not going to be super excited to see mm -hmm. each other every single moment mm -hmm. of, you know, so knowing that like, okay, there's going to be bad days where I'm in a bad mood and he's yeah. in a bad mood mm -hmm. and how are we going to, you know, yeah. we're going to have to be with each other all the time type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So being realistic and then realizing that and being understanding. I mean, yeah, I think with us, like it, uh, similar, like you, I think your lives have to already be heading in the same direction mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and that should be communicated and, and that, that should be trans you should be transparent with each other if yeah. you see that yeah. and if it's not then yeah it's probably not a good idea or, or if things are still uncertain yeah yeah um because yeah once once you're living together you're like intertwined and it's mm. very hard to untwine that yeah right mm -hmm. or very painful too yeah mm -hmm. and for us we've been seeing each other for such like a long period of time and always wanting to be in each other's space mm -hmm. that sounds weird but <laughs> we want to just, you know just be with each other yeah. so it kind of just made sense for us to also yeah. moving together no matter what when you do live together there's going to be surprises even if you've mm -hmm. spent a lot of time together yeah yeah, yeah. even if you've uh, been together for a long time for sure like mm -hmm. once you cohabitate mm -hmm. because it's different from a roommate because mm -hmm. there's romantic and you know mm -hmm. deeper feelings associated mm -hmm. with typical roommate problems right yeah mm -hmm. so. I, th I think a big thing too is is also the family side when i like look at my home and where i'm living i, I see it the same as like my parents house or my, mm. my brother's place and you know, I would hope that they would see my home as a p home too. Mm. And when I see like her in that picture, mm. and when my like family and my siblings can also see her in that picture, then like, you know, they kind of like came together in that way mm. too. That, that's a good, that's a good yeah. point. There, there, there are a few more questions. Maybe we'll get to them another episode. Um, hopefully in round three because mm -hmm. it's tied now. Yeah. There's also some other Wong Fu couples that haven't been in these hot seats. Yet. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Thank you again to Gracie for being a plus one and also all of our care holders for contributing questions. Also, be sure to check out our store to get our awesome, cool new Lunar New Year merch. A link Phil, down below. Yep, Phil's wearing the Zodiac Kingdom shirt and I am wearing the Jade uh, tee with the red envelope. But uh, they're limited quantities, so make sure to hop on it fast. Also, thank you again to Jessica and Helen for joining Woo! us. Their links are down below for all the cool stuff that they're doing as well. Follow them on Instagram, support them in their businesses. Yep. That's crazy, yeah, they're both small business owners. Yes. <laughs> Female, agent, small business, let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. All right, this is not my podcast, we can tone it down. <laughs> Shout out to all the worms. <laughs> for all the worms that are listening out there. Don't, don't give up on your dreams. Yep. We see and on you. Your, and on your love, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. Just keep showing up in their lives. <laughs> Just keep showing up. Maybe like spell things out for them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>